Harry and Meghan are revealing all about their wedding, their engagement interview, and Thomas Markle. We've got all the details on what they revealed in episode three of Harry and Meghan. Meghan compared her 2016 engagement interview to an orchestrated reality show. She said, it was, you know, rehearsed. We did the thing out with the press, then we went right inside, took off the coat, and did the interview. So it's all in the same moment. They said there'll be a moment they want to see the ring, so show the ring. Harry addressed the Queen's cousin, Princess Michael of Kent, wearing a Blackamoor brooch to Christmas in 2017. He said, in this family, sometimes you're part of the problem rather than part of the solution. There is a huge level of unconscious bias. The thing with unconscious bias is it's actually no one's fault. But once it's been pointed out or identified within yourself, you then need to make it right. It's education, it's awareness, and it's a constant work in progress for everybody, including me. Harry went on to address his past Halloween costume as a Nazi soldier in 2005, saying it was one of the biggest mistakes of my life. I felt so ashamed afterwards. All I wanted to do was make it right. Meghan joined Harry, William, and Kate's charity, the Royal Foundation, after they got engaged. At the event, Meghan spoke about the Me Too movement and Time's Up, something the royal family had been noticeably quiet about. She said, I didn't know that that would be taboo to talk about. Joining this family, I knew there was a protocol for how things were done. It was baptism by fire. Meghan's niece and Samantha Markle's biological daughter, Ashley, was not invited to the wedding, despite being like a sister to Meghan. Ashley said, I think I said I was hurt on some level, but I understood where it was coming from. To know that it was because of my biological mother that this relationship that's so important to me was impacted in that way. To feel like because of her, it was taken away. It's been hard. Meghan recalled learning that her father, Thomas Markle, had staged photos with the paparazzi, which he denied at the time. Thomas then spoke to TMZ saying that he was in the hospital and would not attend their wedding, and Meghan kept texting Thomas, and finally he responded, which she said was really weird, since in the text he called her Meghan, which he never did. She also said she never spoke to him at the time. Harry added, of course, it's incredibly sad what happened. She had a father before this, and now she doesn't have a father. And I shouldered that, because if Meg wasn't with me, then her dad would still be her dad. For more news content and exclusive interviews, make sure to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below and visit usmagazine.com.